We are Wisconsin Robotics, and this is our 2019 rover, Horizon. Horizon has been designed with a conscious effort to optimize performance and power usage and motor control while retaining previously successful features. Our drive system uses a rocker bogey design with adjustable ride height to allow the rover to adapt to any terrain it may face. This allows the rover to adjust its ground clearance for hazardous terrain as well as lower its center of gravity to traverse steep slopes. This year we have decided to revamp the differential bar, making it perpendicular to the chassis. Our returning wheel design features in-wheel motors, driving a Kevlar tire supported by aluminum spokes. This design is extremely durable and features a rubber grouser pattern that enables our rover to maintain traction at all times. The chassis team has iterated on the embedded system used on our previous rover, focusing on improving reliability and adding more complex features. The team designed market controller on board uses free RTOS a real-time operating system for embedded hardware for controlling rover hardware and sensors. For motor control, we're using Basic Micro's RoboClaw motor controllers, which offer a number of features, such as built-in PID control for velocity and position. For long-distance communication, we're using two commercial radio systems, 2.4 GHz and 900 MHz, both proven to meet the harsh requirements of URC. The design of Horizon's six degree of freedom arm focuses on maximizing the system's precision and minimizing the difficulty of operator control. To accomplish this, an inverse kinematic software solution with the assistance of OpenRave has been implemented, abstracting the control of individual joints away from the operator. In order to achieve this type of precision electromechanically, the arm uses various gear and belt drive supported by absolute position feedback with an emphasis on efficient motor placement and power usage. With a clamp-style manipulator made compact using a worm gear drive, the arm is more than capable of deft, accurate manipulation. The grips is elastomer material is compressible so that it will securely grasp items of various shapes. The wrist is able to rotate 180 degrees, and we are prototyping systems to attach to the opposite face for specific tasks such as the screwdriver. To find the evidence for life in each site, we will be using a two-part system for soil retrieval and rock analysis. Our soil collection tool involves an auger that will be driven into the soils using a linear actuator to transport soil into our analysis tool, where we will be attempting to perform a series of chemical tests to detect organic compounds and nutrients that are necessary for microbial life. For rock samples, we will be using a microscopic imager which provides up to 375 times magnification to study their texture and coloration. We are also experimenting with implementing Raman spectroscopy to detect organic compounds in the rock samples, which will greatly simplify our system while providing detailed information. We have built a prototype and are currently working on to retrieve meaningful data from it before integrating it into the rover. This year, the software team decided to evaluate and redesign the structure of our underlying code using ROS. In order to improve organization and readability, we improved our software architecture, structuring our code based on definitive features of the physical rover. Because of the existing code modularity, the drive system can pull information from multiple sources. This includes and enables, at all times, driver commands through joysticks or autonomous navigation assisted by GPS coordinates from an IMU. This modularity carries over to all subsystems of the rover. Within the autonomous logic, we have designed an algorithm that searches camera feeds for objects that resemble the roundness and hue of a tennis ball. Using this information, we can not only detect goals during the autonomy task, but also provide important feedback and visuals to drivers during many of the challenges in the competition. Specifically during the autonomous navigation task, we make use of a Z stereo camera and LiDAR sensor to provide detailed information about the surrounding area. Utilizing point clouds from the Z, we can separate obstacles from the ground plane and identify how best to avoid them. Additionally, the utilization of the LiDAR pointed at an angle allows us to detect cliff edges and avoid unexpected falls. The processing of this data, as well as any other onboard logic processing, is done using an NVIDIA Jetson TX2. We are taking various approaches to simulate or help test for the competition. Examples include a mock surfacing lander and a programmable iRobot platform. This platform allows us to test and refine all of vision recognition and obstacle avoidance code for implementation on the rover. We are excited to attend the 2019 University Rover Challenge with our already competitive rover. Over the upcoming months, we will be improving and iterating upon our design to ensure complete mission success.